And now let's talk about from car code and from code bound. In the previous slide, we talked about car code at and code bound at, and we used those methods to get the codes of a, a character. But now we're going to do the opposite. So we're going to get the string back from that code. So we can use a car code to get a string, or we can use a code power to get a string. For the syntax is simple, you want to call from car code on the string object. So this is not your string, this is not a string you created, this is the string constructor object. So you want to call from car code and then pass in the code, an integer. So the car code here. And also we need to do the same thing with from code pound. So we're going to call that on the string constructor object. And then we're going to pass in a number which represents a code pound. Now let's see some examples. But before we use this string here with car code add and code pound add. So okay, then a space in a thumbs up. And then we've said that O and K and the space are all represented by a single 16 bit unit. But for the thumbs up, it is represented by two units here. And that's why the length of this string is one, two, three, four, five for the length. And when we call car code at for each position here and code pound at, they both returned 79 for O, 0107 for K, and 32 for the space. So that's why we said car code add and code pound add will return the same result as long as the character is represented with a single 16-bit unit. But when a character is represented with a two units, that's when the difference between car code add and code pound add happens. So here, if I call car code at position three, I'm gonna get this code here because car code at will only return the code for this unit here, but for code pound at, we return the code for both the two 16-bit units. Now, if we call car code at position four, we're gonna get the code for this single unit. The same thing for code pound at. Well, that was a recap for car code at and code pound at. Now let's go and use from car code and from code pound with these codes here and see what we're going to get back out of those codes. So if I call from car code with 79, this will return O. The same thing goes for from code pound. If I pass in 79, I'm going to get O. If we pass in 107, we're going to get K and then we're going to get K for from code pound as well. Then 32, I'm gonna get a space, and then for from code pound, with the 32 as the code pound, this will return uh, a space also. And let's move on to the next code here. So this code here for from car code will return this broken character. If I call from code pound with the same code here, that's where we're gonna get a broken character. If I call from car code with the last code here, I'm gonna get again a broken character. And then if I call from code pound, again, I'm gonna get a the same thing, a broken character. And here you can see that from car code and from code pound, they both returned the same results for all these characters here. And that's because these characters here are all represented by a single 16-bit unit codes. So as long as a character is represented with a single 16-bit unit code from code pound and from car code will turn the same thing. So when I call from code pound with this code here, this code here is the code for these two units here, this will turn the thumbs up emoji. And now when I call from car code with the same code, so this is out of range for from car code, so it will go and truncate this and return this code here, which is uh, again a broken character, I guess. So you can see here that when it comes to a code for two units, we got different results. 
Well, now let's move on and see some other examples. So from car code here, it doesn't take in a single code. You can actually pass in two codes or more than just two codes for from car code. And the same thing goes for from code parent. You can pass in more than a single code parent and get the string back. Well, let's see some examples. So I'm going to call from car code with 79. So this will turn a single character O. If I pass in 107, I'm going to get a string OK. If I pass in 32, I'm going to get OK with the space. If I pass in this code here, I'm going to get OK then this broken character. But now if I pass in this code as well, I will get OK then the thumbs up emoji. And that's simply because the thumbs up emoji here is represented with two 16-bit units. And when I put them together, I get back my emoji here. Now let's go and do the same thing with from code pound. So if I pass in 79, I'm going to get O, 107K and 32 a space. If I pass in this one, I'm going to get OK with this uh, broken character. And then if I use the last one here, I'm going to get OK in the thumbs up emoji. So the same results with from code pound. But now let's say you're using code pound at and from code pound. So you've got this codes here and now you want to use these codes here and get back your string. So if I call from code pound with 790, 107 OK, 32 OK space. Now this code here is a code pound for these two units, which means I'm going to get back my thumbs up emoji. And now if I pass in this last one here, this will broke my string and look like this, which doesn't make any sense because of this code here, now we have broken our string. Basically what we need to do is when we call the code pound at here on the third position and got this code, we needed to skip this one here because code pound at here returned the compound value of these two units here. So no need for looking for this code here. So to prevent this from happening, you need to prevent code pound at from accessing the second unit of a character that has two or that is represented by two units. So whenever it returns the code for the two units here, then you need to go and skip that uh, unit and go to the uh, next one if there is any unit. Well, you don't need to do this by yourself. You don't need to create the logic by yourself. You can use a library a JavaScript library for string. For example, I suggest you use Vocal.js library. And that's it for the methods from car code and from code pound. Now let's move on to the next one.